Hey YouTube, it's Friday night. Uh, I guess some of us are probably drinking at the bar, uh, out having some form of entertainment. Tonight, I guess my idea of fun is I'm going to have what I call uh, mess kit races. So I'm starting out with about uh, uh, right around 500 milliliters of water. The temperature of the water is 56 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius and what I'm going to do is with my trusty little thermometer and a timer I'm going to time each mess kit. What's kind of neat about this I guess is that I have a Yugoslavian, a USGI canteen cup, a USGI mess kit, Walmart grease pot, a Stanley mess kit I guess, um, German mess kit, a Swedish mess kit, and a mystery mess kit that I was hoping some of you guys might be able to help me out with. Not sure what it is. I've got a brand new propane tank on here. I'm warming up the stove before I start and again I'll put the temperature probe in the water and start the timer so I think it's gonna be a pretty fair race couldn't really think of anything else to do tonight or anything that I really wanted to do other than gonna play around in my garage so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video should be fun I'll get it rolling here in a few minutes here we go YouTube, uh, we're going to start out with the uh, Stanley uh, mess kit here. I'm going to try to get it balanced on. Uh, the stove is going to stay at one setting here and again it should be warmed up sufficiently. I got a brand new tank of gas on there. Everything seems to be staying fairly uniform. so. We'll go ahead and start it off. We'll go ahead and set it at this altitude. It's uh, 203 degrees, the boiling get the boiling so it's uh, probably in Celsius I would say slightly under a hundred to so 98 or something like that should we get this behind here already up to a hundred and one minute and sixteen seconds on the Stanley I apologize for the Fahrenheit. Um, I used to be a uh, staunch believer in, I guess, the American system. And uh, yeah, at this point in my life, I would rather have metric. And of course, we do use metric here, contrary to popular belief. At work all day long, it's all metric. So um, I'm very familiar with it. It's a heck of a lot easier if you're doing conversions, you know, liquids and temperatures and weights and everything's easier to do. So, yeah, so I kind of wish we'd standardize on it, but 
you know, our system works for everyday use too. It's nice being able to say, you know, you got two cups of water or whatever and, you know, I don't know. It's a little less uh, scientific for day-to-day -day use, which, you know, in a way I kind of like. It's a little softer. We're at 3 minutes and 4 seconds, 170 degrees Fahrenheit. minutes 35 seconds 184 Fahrenheit just rising rapidly like I said we're gonna do this on cover just because I don't have a cover for everything Okay, so to Stanley at 4 minutes, 10 seconds. Perfect. Next up is the USGI Canteen Cup. Meantime, I got some uh, second, um, well, actually, what would we call them? Um, some new batteries for my camcorder. It's giving me 158 minutes of runtime on the battery. Got these off of Amazon. Got a car charger and a wall charger, and they're actually fairly inexpensive, which is nice. And I got a new card for it, a 32 gigabyte card, so class 10. Kind of happy with the runtime and everything with the new batteries aftermarket. Also running my uh, iPad in time lapse mode, so hopefully we can get a nice quick video made once I get it all put together. Time lapse. 
time lapse will be kind of neat. Looks like the canteen cup's coming up pretty quick here. We're at 2 minutes and 40 seconds. 170 degrees Fahrenheit. at three minutes. Like so far the canteen cup's gonna be in the lead here. Three minutes and thirty-five seconds and hundred and ninety-nine. Three thirty three forty-four. Walmart grease pot. Make sure that probes in there. And it is. Probes fine. See on the grease pot, I put that uh, aluminum foil on the on the handle. It actually helps quite a bit with handling the pot. Dissipates heat quickly, so you can grab the handle. That's actually been on there for I don't know a couple years now. So seems to help out a bit. So if you guys aren't familiar with the uh, grease pot, this is a well-known, well, all you got to do is check YouTube, the Walmart grease pot, it's fairly popular. It's just a, kind of a perfect shape and size and weight. You can throw an MRE entree in there or a Hormel Complete or anything that's, you know, kind of a retort package type whatever um, boils water quick you can store stuff in it while you're um, like in your pack I mean it's just a versatile unit you can't you know like saute or fry in it I guess I guess you could I mean it, but um, I know there's a lot of debate whether or not people need to do that so Personally, I like to have my options open if, if I can get away with it, but I've been out in the field many times with just a trusty grease pot here, and uh, works good. The only thing I would say it's lacking is probably some way to uh, hang it off of a stick, you know, if you're going to prop a stick over the fire and cook like that but I think that could be easily resolved as well with a couple of screws and a wire some wire so it works well and it heats up quick we're already at 185 and 2 minutes and 40 seconds so it looks like uh, grease pot will be the winner so far.
would say 310. Well, stank corrected. It's a little warm for me to pick up right now. Next up is the German mess kit. German mess kit's nice. It's just the right size and dimensions. Nicely made, it's durable, lightweight. Um, has quite a capacity. 500 milliliters in it is, you know, basically about a, see, yeah, maybe it's about a third, yeah, not quite, yeah, yeah, maybe about a third full. I've never filled it up to see what the capacity is. I would assume it's about two liters. liter and a half, two liters. It's climbing up quickly. minute and 30 seconds at 135 degrees and it is rising quickly one a minute one minute and 50 seconds we're at like 155 This is going to be close with the grease pot. At about 230 right now and 180. Okay, three minutes, 195. Just a little slower. Looks like we're gonna be about 220. Yep, or 320, I'm sorry. Three minutes, 20 seconds. See, that's handy right there. That really makes a big difference. It makes this pot so useful that it's not even funny. Okay, next up is the mystery mystery pot. It's similar to a German pot, but it's got it's got minimal markings on it and 
It's just solid aluminum. No paint. This is what the lid looks like, so if anybody can help me out with this, that's what holds the lid on. Actually, it's a, um, not sure where this is from, actually. There was no, uh, no description at the surplus store. It was about $10, so I really couldn't pass it up, and it's built great it's very well nicely built okay we're at about 110 at 1 minute and 17 seconds One hundred and thirty three at one forty six. And my camcorder set at ABCHD. One hour and 43 minutes left on the SD card. It's a 32 gig card. Uh, 142 minutes left. Really pleased with the camera. Had it for a while. Very lightweight, pocketable camera for field use, and just I like it. It's fairly inexpensive. This one's going to be almost identical to the German pot, which is interesting because it's nearly identical in shape. 321. And uh, might have even been 320, I guess the camera will tell us, but um, almost identical times with the German pot, which again, like I said, the shape's almost identical too, so it's nice when you get repeatability in a test like this. Next up is the Swedish pot. Oh, if you're familiar with the Swedish pot, it comes with the uh, Trangia or Trangia, depending on where you're from, I guess. As the alcohol burner. This one has the three crowns. 
Sevilla, that's how you say it. Us Americans kind of bastardize everybody else's language because we generally just speak American English. So, um, yeah, forgive us. But it's a nice, nice set. Uh, One thing I'm rather proud of owning is an actual uh, Swedish silverware set. If you look closely you can see how it all clips together. Um, I had several of these and I have no idea. I have two boys of course and well let me just say I have one set left so I'm protecting this one with everything I got. Um, it stays in the Swedish set with the Trangia, the alcohol bottle, um, yeah, so very nice. See the stamp of authenticity, the three crowns again. Okay, we're at 2 minutes and 27 seconds, 174 degrees, 173 it was actually, but... The speed... I think the speed's gonna be, uh... From what it's looking like, we're 185 at 2 minutes and 47 seconds. I think this is going to be amazingly close to the German and the mystery kit. Seems like everything with this particular shape has a uh, has a the same number. Let's see what the Swede does here. Oh, 319. The Swede beats the German set by one second. It's amazing. Unbelievable, folks. We have the last three, which are all nearly, uh, nearly not identical, but nearly identical to one another. They've all been within one second of each other. So I think that's that's pretty good. That's a good test. Next up is one that I'm rather fond of. The Yugoslavian test or uh, mess kit. I'm sorry. I have yet to use it, but it's actually a very nice, heavy, heavy duty set. The aluminum's very thick on it. It's just nice. Well built. Now I have a couple other things that are from the former Yugoslavia, I mean as far as like surplus items and they actually did a very good job of building pretty much everything. I think their uh, AK rifles seem to be very well built. I'm not going to say it's better or worse than any of the other ones but they use the uh, heavier receiver I believe it's more like an RPK receiver one and a half uh, millimeters thick versus I believe a standard one's one so of course you're going to gain a little weight with that but just the grenade sight and the gas shut off and little things like that I think they had tritium sights most of them are burnt out that I've seen but 
the gear just seemed to be pretty good. Interesting country at that point in time in our history actually. It's a very interesting area. A region of Europe. So we're at 154 degree 55 at 2 minutes and 9 seconds. We're climbing rapidly. The grease pot is still the winner at 310. I know my buddy, button pushing is, you know, within a couple seconds here, so I understand that. Three thirty five. So about fifteen more seconds compared to the German mystery one and the Swede. USGIMS kit. We'll see how this one turns out. We might need to do a redo. I, I did spill a, well, it's not a lot. And I don't know. Probably like a tablespoon of uh, water and I started the uh, timer a little late because I didn't have it reset. So let's see how this goes. So far it's heating up rapidly. Yeah, this one's flying. So we're at 150 degrees at a minute 22. A minute 45 and roughly 170.
think we're going to have a new winter. Um, going to add a few seconds to this one too. Two hundred, two one, two fifty eight, yeah, that was fast. I can understand why. Not quite a bit of surface area. And last but not least, we have a French set here. Okay, so this is a French, at least we think it's French. It's kind of nice, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but it comes with another little you know cup pan pot whatever I think uh, it's a bit deeper than the outer pan but I think it's probably the same capacity has a handle on it really nicely made stuff um, no complaints So let's we'll see how it does. The Yugo set actually, kind of going back to that, came with its own uh, fork, knife, and spoon set, silverware set, as a can opener and a bottle opener all built into it all slides into the knife handle very nice um, actually excellent excellent silverware this French set is heating up rapidly We're already up to 180 at two minutes, so I wouldn't be surprised if this one is the winner. Two twenty-five and one ninety-two. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a new winner. going to be close. Three oh seven. It's 
So I, I think uh, that concludes the test. So the Stanley took 4 minutes and 10 seconds, the USGI Canteen Cup took 3 minutes and 44 seconds, the Grease Pot took 310, the German set took 320, the Mystery set took 321, the Sweet set took 319, the Hugo set took 335, the USGI Pan took 2 minutes and 58 seconds, we can add a few to that if you guys would to make you feel better we'll call it right around 3 301 and the French set at 307 so that concludes the test I hope you guys enjoyed this might go a bit further at some point with this I have a infrared camera at my disposal I was trying to think up a way to kind of use that in the test but I don't want to get too nerdy with it this is good so that's what we have take it easy YouTube